validate our own intuition and our higher selves and enjoy celebrating our lives worldwide. Yeehaw! Much as possible. So you can't think something and change a pattern. The body, the cellular memory has to be involved. Cover ceremony is also quite important in some more culture as well. I would just arrived in Helsinki with Susan, our host, Thomas, our chauffeur. Hello. <laughs> and entertainer for the weekend. We're so excited to be here. We just got here and it's it's just beginning, the beginning of a great weekend. It will be great. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so happy.
you see this fountain, you see the demon, and you see the little gargoyle on the base of the Divine Feminine. To me, that's exactly the age that we're in, where the, the gargoyle, gargoyle, the fourth dimension, the astral plane energy, is trying to suppress the Divine Feminine, which is the expansiveness of self-power and intuition and reconnecting the source. So keep bearing your water no matter how many gargoyles there are. Just go ahead and kick those gargoyles off of your feet and shine. Here we are sitting in Hamburg, and it is 2010, the month of September. Just taking a fourth sight into the year of 2011, wanted to break down uh, 2011 with some numerology. To me, it looks like 11 is one masculine side and one feminine side. And when they connect, they create a column. So the 11 is creating a column. And what I feel and believe 2011 is about is about bridging and connecting heaven to earth, bringing our higher selves to meet our ego into the expression of the unity in a balanced point of view of androgynous existence, masculine and feminine bringing into a balance. So all those heavenly aspirations that we're feeling and that we know, we know in our heads, to learn to bring them into our body and into ourselves and into our walk of life. So, looking forward to 2011 and experiencing it with you, planet Earth. I'm excited to see how you bring heaven to Earth and sharing that experience together as one.